This is a lesson for Dancing Machine by the Jackson 5. Um, you're going to be playing the G sharp or A flat Dorian mode, which comes from the major scale F sharp or G flat, whichever. Um, so that mode is, starts on the fourth fret on your A string on your E string. I'm gonna play, I'm gonna put my first finger on the fourth fret and my pinky on the sixth fret of my D string for the high octave note. And uh, the first couple notes, the intro to the song is just two notes on the fourth fret, two notes on the seventh, and one on the fourth fret. Then it goes into this bass line. So that's just the root, fifth, and the octave on your fourth fret, and then sixth fret on the A and D strings. Okay. Um, then it just goes into this one bass note, and then it'll go to the seventh fret. I play it on the seventh fret. You can also play um, and then it'll also do a fill where you can go on the second, I mean the sixth fret, seventh on your E string, and then fourth and sixth on your A. Then there's a change where you start on your 6th fret, playing that 5th of the mode or scale or whatever. Um, so you start on the 6th and then you just go chromatic all the way to that same high note, which is your root and octave. So that's six notes. But I, I don't play them all on the same string. I play three notes right here. And then three notes here. So that is your sixth fret, seventh, eighth, and then your four, five, six, and your back here. Okay, and then the horns come in, and uh, you can actually play this on bass, you know, just for fun. Um, well, so you got your high octave note on the 6th fret. You just go up another octave, which is your 18th fret on your D string, and then the 16th fret on your G string. And then a little hammer on, pull off thing, 16th fret on your D string, and then 18th. And then 16th fret on your E.
second and fourth frets on your E real quick and then from the fourth fret on your E to the second fret on your A and then four, five, six. And then as the horns are still doing the You're going to do the same kind of thing, but start on the 11th fret on your A string. The same notes as up down there. But right before that, he does a little pull off from the 16th fret to the 13th on your G string. into the um, and then the end of the song I play it in two different places the same notes uh, the first time I play it at the 4th fret on my G string and the 6th on my D and then I go up to the 4th and 3rd on my D string fret and fourth on your A and E string and then the second and first fret on your E. play the song and you can play along. Thank mm -hmm. you. 